role of the CLA is to champion businesses in the rural economy. The CLA is probably the only representative in that rural space. CLA members look after around half of the rural land in England and Wales and that's a huge responsibility in their trust. Our farm here in East Shropshire is fourth generation. I came along in 1970, I found that the routine work didn't really grasp me, so we started to grow vegetables and fresh flowers, we're drying, gradually that industry fell apart and that's how we came to start in the wedding confetti. About 25, 30 years ago I was moving into managing the farming business and the CLA provided an authoritative answer to a lot of the questions I was looking at. Members come to us for advice on a whole variety of things. It depends on their circumstances and the type of businesses that they run. So they might be wanting advice on taxation. They might be looking for advice on planning and housing if they're looking into development. We're a mixed family farm in the heart of North Yorkshire. We have sheep and arable. Myself and my sister are the fifth generation here. We joined the CLA because it offers a real opportunity to be able to take advantage of advice and member services. We are also able to network with the farmers and business owners who are experiencing similar problems and challenges that we may be. Most recently we've used the CLA for a planning query which we had. Without the CLA it seemed like a really challenging issue and, and we didn't know how to navigate through it, but they offered us advice and plenty of resources to find a resolution. Members get free and limited one-to-one -one advice from the regional team, but also the specialists in London, so the tax team, the legal team, land use team, property team. The farm is in the Cotswolds, we're just over a thousand acres and having been commercial arable for the 43 years that I've been farming, we've now moved to countryside stewardship across the whole farm. I get a tremendous amount of very good quality information and it's information about all the laws and regulations and things and how they apply and change all the time uh, and also about grants and money coming in. So it is, it's been absolutely vital for the business. At the moment, with the change that's happening in the sector, diversification is really important and it's key that governments rural-proof all of their policies, which in the past hasn't been the case and it's something that we're lobbying for. We have three farm diversification projects, a wedding venue, glamping site and cookery school. It's a really important time in agriculture. We're going through lots of change, but there are lots of opportunities. It's fantastic to have a voice fighting our corner when it comes to the connection between the rural business and farmer and those in power in the government. We also are there to listen and engage with them to take on board the issues and concerns that they have so that helps us in our lobbying activity. We speak to DEFRA at all levels and we have helped design and shape the ideas of how things have gone. For any given policy, how many of our members are going to be affected? And how much extra cost would a policy impose on our members? But it's not just about cost, it also works the other way. So for any policy that either government might be thinking about, or indeed we might suggest government should think about, might it be an opportunity for business development for our members? You should join the CLA to get the one-to-one -one advice and to access all of the information that we supply to members, the guidance notes, our emails and magazine and mainly to make sure that your voice is represented at all levels of government. It's fundamentally there to protect your property rights with you running your rural business. So if you care about the countryside, if you care about the jobs and the people and the businesses there, then you should be a member of the CLA. All businesses that are concerned with the rural economy should consider being members of the CLA. We have no constituency at Westminster unless we have a lobby and the more members we have, the louder we can shout. <laughs>